Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sorry that you're looking at the back of a door, <laughs> but I'm not in this video because this is just the unboxing and I don't know when the video will post, but I wanted to go ahead and open up the box so I can check the item that I want to share with you all. And I don't have like a return window or nothing like that, but now that the bag is here, I'm just so excited. I want to go ahead and check it out for myself first in case I do need to call about anything. So it is from one of the um, places that I have shot from before. I have never had any issues with them just far. So I have been very pleased with all my items. And if you recognize the box, you know where it's from. It's from The Real Real. So, it is a brand that I have been expanding my collection with, and I wanted to share the unboxing with you all. And I did not take off my address label, nor do I have scissors in here, of course. But it literally came, and I had something yesterday going on, got back home late, too late to film anything. So I was like, let me just do all this today so I can go ahead and check out my new addition to the family. <laughs> trying to do this with one hand because I am definitely not dressed for the camera, but I'm dressed enough to do this unboxing. <laughs> so here we go. And as you can see from here, try to make sure it's at least in frame for you. It is from The Real Real. You have seen these cards on my channel a couple of times. This comes typically with every purchase that I have gotten so far. And it just has the basic information on here. Fund your next find. Top designers to sell. Gucci, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Celine, Cartier, Rolex, Prada. list goes on and on. Authenticated for you. The Real Real. So, like I say, I get this with every purchase. And each purchase may be different. Some may come with the item's actual dust bag or it may always um, come with the dust bag from the real real. This one, it has this dust bag. And now on to the reveal of what's in the unboxing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now I know you're probably saying, okay, well, this is not a big item. No, it's not. I have been researching this bag in the two sizes that I am aware of, I'm going to say probably for about a year. I went back and forth and then as my collection was expanding, I kept saying, okay, I didn't want actually the bigger version. I chose to go with the smaller version. So that way I have different styles and sizes in my collection. So it can be an everyday bag. It can be a weekend carry, travel carry, whatever I want to use it for. This size is going to work for me either way. Just because I've done enough research to know how I want to use it and what I'm going to put in it and everything. So enough of me dabbling because I'm ready to look at this baby and I bet you are as well. <laughs> so here is the dust cover that it came in from the real real, as you can see. And... Are we ready? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh. Look at it. <laughs> this is the Louis Vuitton Trueville bag. Now, this, seeing it in person, is actually bigger than what I thought it was going to be anyway. I was expecting it to be way smaller than this. So the fact that it's this size, I'm very pleased. Very, very pleased. I have been loving the bowler style silhouette. This bag has definitely been on my radar for, like I say, for a while. And then finally I said, okay, let me just start researching which size I wanted. And I actually discovered the bigger size first, didn't know that the smaller one existed. This one has um, definitely the bowler style shape that I love and monogram print. I love that. And the double zipper. The handles that fold down on the side. I can add a strap here if I choose. Because that was my other dilemma. I kept saying, okay, do I want a bag that I don't have a strap 
option, even though most of the time you always hear me say, I don't even use the shoulder strap. <laughs> so that was not going to be my determining factor for the most part. But at least I can add one if I just want to add to the look or if I'm going out and I need to add a strap, I know there's always an option that I can't. I knew when I purchased this one that it had some patina. Sometimes the way it's described on the website, it may say um, color discoloration or something. So the ones that I had purchased, it just meant that it had patina. So this one, I knew it had patina because the pictures, I could see it in the pictures. It's an even patina. I have no complaints thus far. There is no corner wear on this bag whatsoever. Of course, there's no feet on the bag. It said that the hardware had some light um, tarnishing to it. So I can see that on one of the um, pieces where you can attach the strap. But then when you hold it up like this, you can't even see that it's there. This little tag here is what you get on each item that you purchase from the real real and the item is final sale and it's not returnable so with that being said it's just flat out stated there for you but you can also call if the bag is not in the condition that it's stated for your purchase now i don't know what they do because i haven't had that issue but i know that you can still call like any other brand you can call customer service as you please <laughs> so this bag does zip and you see the two zippers here so I am going oh a smooth zipper I am going to bring both zippers up top so there are the two zippers there and as you can see the handles do go down on both sides from the feel of this the bag is not stuffed which is coming from the real real some bags may or may not be stuffed when you get oh my gosh it's in excellent condition look at that look at that okay absolutely amazing um this is a thing from Salvatore ferragamo that was inside of here and that was just in one of the pockets there but this is a lot of times used as a travel piece for some people and so this material is actually wipeable you can wipe it off you can hear me scratching it there you get the two pockets down here on the opposite side two pockets there here is the Louis Vuitton nameplate this one says made in France so there we go in the bottom is very very clean no stains no odors no dog cat hair no smoke smells no perfume smells I'm absolutely in love with this bag which is why I wanted to hurry up and open it <laughs> so like I say I have seen videos and reviews on the Duville and the Trueville and people have carried both as travel bags I plan on carrying mine as a purse because when I travel I don't travel with items of this size as like a cosmetic travel bag or whatever i overpack i have kids so carrying something like this as a travel piece to hold travel items like beauty essentials like shower gels and stuff like that i have a whole nother um bag that i use for that that's more appropriate for me and my lifestyle with my family <laughs> so this here is going to be used as a purse for me so the other determining factor was being that some people use this as a travel piece i had to find one that was in a condition where if it had been used for traveling purposes it had the possibility of having spills and stains in it the material is wipeable but as we know you could carry sanitizer lotion bleach wipes or something in your bag and it may stain the bag and some stuff is just not removable i don't care how much you wipe the bag out so this bag here there is literally no stains in here anywhere like anywhere <laughs> so i am absolutely loving that and i mean i can always take a damp cloth just to wipe it out which i would do anyway but there is absolutely nothing even inside the pockets i don't see any lint balls anywhere i don't see any lotion spills sanitizer spills i don't see any um I mean, even if they had baby items or something, I don't know who had this purse first and what they used it for, but I'm not seeing any residue anywhere on the bag. 
there is no issues on the bottom absolutely perfect condition and like i say i knew it had patina when i purchased it and i was okay with that it's a older style bag so i like to refer to this as my vintage piece <laughs> i'm absolutely loving this i have taught mono's beauty head off about the bowler style bag and so <laughs> mo i finally got it <laughs> so i absolutely had to come share this with you all and i just wanted you to see another great experience that i knew i was probably going to have from the real real which i did i'm very excited and so once i carry her i will come back and show what all fit in her but she will be used as a purse so just know when you see it, it will have purse items. I will not be using this as a travel bag. So I can just go ahead and let you know that now. But <laughs> I may possibly come show you just what fits if you were to carry certain travel items. But I will not be using it like to go to the beach and this is my travel um, toiletry bag. No, ma'am. No, sir. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers. And I will see you in my next one. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, DJ King. In today's video, this is the Switch Out Saturday for you all. And I'm kind of excited to do it. <laughs> so this here is a bag. If you just saw the beginning part of the video, that was me getting the bag and unboxing the bag from the real real. So I'm just now carrying it again and realized okay i never even shared the whole video experience with everyone <laughs> so the bag if you saw my marshall's fine video that uploaded a couple of days ago i had this beautiful bag here sitting in the cart like in the what do you call it the seat in the front of the shopping cart and i had a question <laughs> saying well, are we going to get a review or what's in my bag or whatever on this bag? So, sure. <laughs> here is this beauty here. She has this lovely honey patina already on her when I got her. As you saw in the video, great, great bag. I absolutely love it. I have been loving, I call it the lunchbox style bag because I, lunchbox style slash bowler bag style. So, I absolutely love this style. It's like a satchel, bowler bag, like all in one. So, <laughs> but absolutely love this baby. I was a little skeptical at first because, you know, it didn't have the, I kept saying my next LV purchase was going to be the Speedy Bandler bag because it had the shoulder strap, crossbody strap. Of course, y'all saw me with satchels. That strap was always inside the bag. So, needless to say, I did not let that discourage me from getting this baby, and I'm so glad I did. It took me longer to research whether I wanted the Duville or the Trueville bag because I couldn't gauge from the size. I knew they were both travel pieces or beauty cases. Some people have used them for. Some people use the larger one as a purse. Some people use the larger one as their travel piece and had their cosmetics and stuff in it. Some has used it as an overnight bag. I knew I wanted a smaller size because, you know, I have the Speedy 40. So I said I didn't want two satchel style bags similar in the similar size. So I was like, I wanted the smaller version, but I just had to confirm <laughs> which one was the actual smaller size. So absolutely love the bag. And to start out, you know how some of us love to have the dual zipper option. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like here. You do get the two zippers there and it zips down both sides all the way down to the bottom and when you open it nothing will fall out from either side just so i can get that part out the way because i may forget and depending on if you prefer this to be the front of your bag where it says louis vuitton in this front pocket 
or you could have this is the front of your bag if you don't want no pocket because you want to slide say your cell phone or something back here and want it closer to your body so i've carried the bag both ways i just picked it up and went about my business <laughs> so some days it was that way some days it was this way but yes absolutely love the carry i have been in it and i love that the handles flop down so they don't stand up some bags you just want that there's no feet now let's show you about the inside of this bag there is organization for everything so if you do not use the pouch method you could totally get away with it from having a spot for everything that helps me because i trying to be more organized but sometimes it does get out of hand but this definitely helps keep your keeps your bag from getting too too messy because there is a spot for everything so I start by these pockets. In this one, I had my work phone. I took it out because it is on the charger. But let me see if I can unplug it really quick. Okay, so here's the work phone. It slides down perfectly in that back pocket. And then over here, I just have my charger for my phone that I'm currently recording on. Same old Samsung note nine i may upgrade this year but no rush to do it phone is working just fine i love it to death <laughs> and then next we have the famous lv checkbook slash pocket agenda love that then i have this here i had to print out my dental insurance cards i was making some dental appointments and i always like to have a copy of the card even though most of the time they don't need it but you know it's always good to have one on hand then you've seen this before this is the lvmm agenda and just so you can see it fits in there absolutely fine no issues getting it out i just have something well this right here is on the side of my vix because you know still a little nasally but it absolutely fits in there just fine that's how it looks from that angle that's how it looks from there. So it definitely is enough room. So perfect size for all my purses. And y'all, I know I said I was going to switch out of this. I have got to switch out of this. But now I feel like since Valentine's is rolling around, I just as well stay in it and take off the <laughs> Christmas charm. <laughs> I am holding on to Christmas. That is one of my favorite holidays. I love the Christmas decorations and Christmas lights, Christmas trees and all of that. But I have enough purse charms to where I could totally just either take this one off or just put another one on here. But I may switch out, but this is still the same old thing. The medicine pouch, same old, same old. Um, Benadryl stuff. So same old stuff is always in here. It's just a medicine pouch. Um, And this thing is so broken in. I just love the way it I mean, you see, I definitely love these little grab-and-go pieces. So if you see me buying all the no-leaders or purchasing one every time they come out, I do use them. <laughs> so, but yeah, love this. This is the Nolita 15 in the color 1941 red, I believe. And of course, you know, red is always popping up against anything LV. I mean, even in this Damier bean print, look at those two together. Love it, love it, love it and this of course is my vintage piece because it's older and you know this is one that i just purchased last year so there is a patina difference but i have used this so much that i'm sure the patina on the little lv part will probably catch up with everything on there but absolutely love these pieces and here is a bank receipt i won't show you that this here is the pouch a few of you probably have is from five below i use this as my candy cough drop pouch that's truly all that's in there and candy and cough drops plain and simple little i think the pouch was like three dollars and some change you can put your id card or whatever on the back or your insurance cards but i never use it for that it's always a candy or change pouch for me and it says can't even meaning eyes i can't even i just thought this was cute anyway because of the whole color combo and then just the look at the eyes and i was like okay that's cute so I actually think I even have two of these because I remember I bought one, couldn't find it. And then I went and purchased another one. <laughs> um, next, 
yes, I did not change out of this. Your girl wasn't feeling, like I say, the whole 100%. So I was like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yes, I have other accessories I could use, but I still had this. So it still has all my cards and stuff in here. And it's getting stuffed, stuffed even more. <laughs> but I figured I'm in LV Brown. Why not? This is in the color brown tomorrow, and it's in that smooth leather. So it worked. And then I had this trim on there, and that's actually patinaed a little bit because it's definitely darker than when I first got it. But I love these little coin pouches. So I will be switching out of that. Then we have a loose Carmex in here. And again, I want to point out if I didn't say this inside material is wipeable. You can hear it. So that's why you may see some videos of people using this to house their beauty products. I didn't have any spills in here. Um, here's my hand sanitizer spray. I had in that back pocket on the other side. Over here, I have a spoon, a highlighter. Just trying to look for something. A purple ink pen, a lip balm, a shea butter bath and body, and a Marshalls receipt from when I was in Marshalls that day. I did pick up just some house houseware stuff. So I just moved it from one pocket to the next. But just so you can see a good view, you have two pockets on this side and then two pockets up there. So two down here on the bottom and then two up there. Big open spot in the middle. Opens wide, wide mouth, both sides. So definitely enjoy carrying this bag. She held all, everything that I needed. Clearly a bigger wallet will fit in here. But had I used, say, this for a wallet, too, that could have worked. But the card case, everything fit in here that I needed. And the bigger the bag, the more stuff goes in it anyway with me. <laughs> but I love a bag that has the built-in compartments. And sometimes if you don't want to use a bunch of pouches... A bag like this definitely works. And the phone charger. So everything is in here. This bag did not fail me whatsoever. And I love the look of having the two zippers zipped up top. Like that. Everything fits. And there is still room in here absolutely love this so cute and dainty very cute and dainty love the patina the honey look is evenly patinaed all the way around absolutely love it and i will show you the corners just so we can see here's the bottom so absolutely love this bag lv deville and so my next carry i'm just going to go ahead and tell you this one because i do absolutely know what i'm moving into next it will be let me just go grab it. This will be the next carry. This was one of the items that was in that infamous lost and found tote that I had. And my Florentine Leisure was in it. This was also the second bag that was in it. I completely forgot that I purchased this one. I remember I got it from I Love Dooney once I remembered the whole shopping experience there. <laughs> But this is the Novelty Print Greta Leisure. And it has like that chalk color background, the red hearts, pink hearts, stars, the B. A few of us got this and it's going to be perfect for Valentine's Day. Although I may not be in it on Valentine's Day. It also came with this pouch here. So I'm going to use that. Don't know if this would be my catch-all or my wallet, but it came with this. And I figured I should go ahead and move into this leisure now because once you move into a leisure, it's hard to move out of it. So that way, at least I get to carry it for, say, a week, week and a half or two. And then if I decide to carry a smaller bag or just a whole different bag or a red bag for Valentine's Day, at least I will have gotten to use this one during the Valentine's season, I will say. Because you hate just having one bag just for Valentine's Day and that's the only time you get to pull it out. But like I say, a tote and a leisure combination, that's a win-win. So 
yeah <laughs> so this will be the next carry so of course when i do the switch out saturday this will be what i'll be switching out of next time you see it and then you'll get to see what i used as far as accessories and the wallet so thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video again this was the lv deville that i am about to move out of and thank you all to everyone for watching and following along thank you to all my new subscribers for coming over hanging with me hope you all enjoyed this and i will see you in the next one